okay so good afternoon everybody good afternoon sirs good afternoon ma'am good afternoon everyone so myself madhulika along with ved are hosting this event rangdari so in short words it's of painting and illustrations uh, so we have two judges here amar sir and chiranjeev sir so let's start the event uh, hello everyone uh, so this is how the event will go on uh, we'll be sharing your work and the judges will be looking at your work they'll give their insights on what they feel about your work and they'll be judging so yeah we'll start i'll uh, share the screen my uh, yeah, the screen sharing is off yeah so judges uh, uh, you, as you can see on your list the first one is uh, tejal firodia so this is her work just have a look Ajil, uh, would you like to just say some words about your work, like how you did it, what materials you used? Yeah, uh, so uh, I did this almost three months ago. This is five point five feet by two point five or three feet, uh, the size of the mandala, and I've used the acrylic colors here. Like, this was. Uh, Actually, I really like mandala. I really like making mandalas. So, uh, in this lockdown, I have tried something new on my room, in my room, in my wall. So yeah, that's it. Which color scheme you used? Uh, this is the white color. I have used monochrome. I tried different color. It wasn't looking good. So I have used the monochrome because my room is uh. quite you know pista color my room walls are quite pista color so i used the coach color uh this art from is famous from uh this is a spiritual art uh, and uh, this is uh, more about you know uh, meditative art you can say no is this art is uh, where from the belongs this uh, is any states uh, this yeah Uh, this belongs to buddhi uh, to buddhism or jainism okay is there any meaning also on this uh, mandala uh not exactly like meaning uh, mm -hmm. i have uh, used all the petals and what forms i like mm -hmm. uh, i have used that i have never thought you know meaning for the meaning mm -hmm. but mandala it doesn't uh, have any meaning right it have uh, like, okay okay it depends on the different forms of mandala mm -hmm. but you copied the original designs or you have uh, turn I and mean, you used your own skills and the designs over here no 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 i i didn't copy it i didn't copy this i just uh, started and then whatever comes in and i completed with that okay and how you projected on this wall sorry how you projected this on the wall i made you sketched this yourself or you projected with the using the projector or something i made this on wall i mean i, I don't get your question no you sketch by yourself on the wall itself or you are uh, use the sketch to project to the through the projector no 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 i sketch this on my wall okay means there is some free hand right uh, no any yeah. uh, you didn't uh, somebody use uh, some people use projector to see the drawing yes, so. scale so you no, did no, no, i mean, uh, i i use scale for the measurements ha 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 The scale you use, but you are not. You didn't use um, a projector. No. It's a freehand, right? Yeah, it's freehand. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Okay, so that's some really beautiful work, Tejal. Thanks a lot for sharing. So, uh, you have done three work. Go back to first, first one. 
So it's the same painting. It's just uh, okay. in a step from different step angles. Yes, sir. She has shared about uh, multiple pictures of the same artwork. Ha, I mean, step by step, you are showing, right? Uh, yes, sir. This is something like a very cool color. And somewhere you put more uh, color. Go back. Uh, yeah, yeah. Next. So uh, you put a different, different color, layer by layer, or uh, there is in the same uh, layer only. It is same only. It's just because of the light effect. Uh, oh, acha. Okay. All right. All right. All right. Okay. So that's some really beautiful work, Kajal. Thanks a lot for sharing. Judges, we will move on to the next work. Uh, next is uh, Anoop Tahale from first year. Uh, this is work. Hello, sir. So, I know. Made this Can you just... pencil sketch drawing by by pencils. Uh, yes. Uh, Anush, you saw this uh, idea in somewhere or you just created from your uh, Sir, I took some uh, pictures uh, um, of the character. Uh, from internet, huh. some um, reference pictures. Okay. And, yeah. Yes, yes. So you took the character and you break the character. Ah, uh, yes. From, uh, in your own style, right? Yes, sir, because yeah, uh, uh, um, he's like a. Uh, 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 magician and he uh, uh, he will look. Uh, 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 is uh, showing his magic through the glass and uh, so I uh, made this sketch for, for this Doctor Strange character. Yeah, Amar sir, your views uh, on the artwork. Yeah. Uh, which color medium you used, Anu, for this artwork? But it's the uh, my. Mm, mm, mm. Favor cast and pencils. Okay, you are used the pencil colors. Pencil colors, sir. Okay. Water okay. color pencil. And just you pencil. use the uh, color same as it is the whatever the reference you took, or else you added some more colors or something in that. I know, sir. It's the uh, same color. Scale as in the uh, photo. Yes. Okay. And the, what it's are the your creativity over here? What is your creativity over here? Uh, uh, so because I like uh, um, uh, head sketching too much, so I um, like to draw the sketches like uh, um, paintings and pencil sketches. So um, I can draw this type of sketches uh, like um, without scaling and freehand. So yeah. Okay, you you did this with free uh, free hand only. You not used any yes. scale and scaling and anything. Okay. Yes, only. Okay, okay. Anu, uh, what is the size of this mm. painting? Uh, A4 sheet, sir. A4 sheet. A4 sheet. Yes. Okay, okay. Uh, the color you are talking about, uh, uh, pencil color. Yes, sir. Pencil color. Is this stapler color? Uh, stapler or some other uh, uh, yes, sir. Okay. All right, all right. So thanks a lot, Anup. This was a good uh, painting. Thanks a lot for sharing. Uh, judges, I will move on to the next one. Uh, the next one is Pooja Yadav. Uh, Pooja Yadav from first year. Yes.
it is the size of this artwork puja sorry sir what is the size of this artwork sir 12 into 16 cm are you sure you are saying the centimeters 12 into 16 yes sir but it's looking like a bigger one it's not like a uh what is the size 12 cm yes sir 12 into 16 cm 12 into 16 Yeah. Do you know the twelve into sixteen centimeter? No, no, I don't think it will be. Like yeah, that. I don't think also, sir. Same. Inches? You are talking about the inches? Yes, sir. I'm sorry. It's thirty point forty eight four eight centimeter into forty point six four centimeter. Okay. Okay. So the earlier one must be in inches. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, inches or in inches. Inches or the feet? I can see that maybe it's. Uh... Yeah. Okay. Okay. You use the uh, uh, so you saw this thing somewhere. Any reference or the it's your original. Sorry, sir. You saw this thing Android. Is it? Uh, you saw this thing somewhere and you draw it, right? Yes, sir. Okay. Okay. And what color you are using for this? So I've used acrylic colors for this. Acrylic color. Okay. Okay. Uh, judges, I'd like I'd like you to pay a little attention to the third eye she has made. It's really beautiful. So just have a look. Concept is really good. Okay, so what was the is her creativity over here? Yeah. Because she is taking the reference from somewhere. Uh, Pooja, you'd like to say anything about the artwork? Like, uh... yes, sir. I have just um, made it and the I have painted it and the all detailings also I have made with. That's it. Okay. All right, all right. Yeah. So the painting is really good. Uh, it has a aggressive mood and it's beautiful. Thanks a lot for sharing, Pooja. Uh, judges will uh, move on to the oh, next one. Wait. Wait, will yeah. you please present Bipul's work now? He has to Bipul. leave at twelve. Yeah, yeah, sure, sure. Yeah. Uh, judges, uh, this is Bipul Singh's work. What is the medium of this painting? So it's poster color. Poster color size. And size of the painting? A three size paper. A three okay. size paper. Actually, I live on the behind a wildlife sanctuary hmm. in Indore. So I got the idea to draw a painting of that. Hmm. Then I searched on different pictures on internet, and then I draw this. Are the references? These are not the original one. Yes, sir. These are the reference images or the uh, original one. So original ones. Original ones. Okay. It's your own creativity, yes. right? Yes, sir. The original. I just wanted to know how uh, how it will be original. Isn't you did this thing on the spot, or you took a photograph and you did. Or you saw these images somewhere and you just do it. So I have taken a photograph. Okay. Okay. Yes, sir. All right. All right. So have we done judges? Yes. Yes. Okay. Thanks a lot, Bipul. Thank you. So the next one is uh, Aditya uh, Ramvarzi. He's from third year, Avantika University. And uh, judges, he has made a uh, uh, digital illustration. So just have a look. Yeah, it's just this too. Yeah. Uh, so I used uh, Photoshop. Uh, it's a digital illustration. So you know, uh, I used Photoshop, Medibank, and Creator to uh, make out the whole scene. So the my inspiration was uh, I was watching a movie 
and in that movie there was this scene really beautiful scene of refraction of light under water and i thought it was i mean it would be really tough and challenging to draw it on digital medium so i took the challenge and uh, uh, yeah and here yeah, this is my original character so i design characters and uh, make splash art of characters because uh, i'm really into 2d digital art and i want to uh, have digital art and character designs as my hobby uh, after i graduate so yeah i do lot of digital art and character illustrations and this splash splash art uh, kind of scenes yeah so this took about 3 days uh, uh, my work is divided between first draw the sketch which i can actually show i have my digital tablet uh, right over here so uh, i can show if you want to see them so the first day i need to bring out the scene and the expression so uh, actually my drawings do not show any specific action or uh, or any message but it's about the expression and how, how about the characters and i use my detailing as you see all the folds and the underwater refractions of light i use these details to catch the user's eye and with those details i actually tell or speak about my art uh, which is here the expression of this character yeah so it's your own character or you uh... yeah it's my own character yeah. okay so and, i uh... wanted to draw a demi mermaid and the scene needed to be underwater because you know i, I need that challenge of uh showing the refracting light inside water and all the waves and all the textures over there so yeah i did, i didn't think it would turn out like this but uh, i think i am really i am quite happy that it turned out like this and the okay. environment uh, you Hello? created you, you created your own environment i'm talking yeah. about what sort of elements you put it here yeah so uh, those fishes are um, what we do know i mean just those are just random fishes i drew to also show the reflection of light as you see on those uh, small killer whales you know orcas uh, yeah so everything is uh, my own it's from my imagination just the uh, background reference is from a movie scene that i saw in some random movie i was watching and just i needed to focus on my practice of underwater reflection so that's how it turned out like this so uh what you can say this uh, this is painting or illustration digital illustration or splash art so splash art is actually used in games uh, uh, games to show the users about how their characters deal with in you know in i don't know if anyone knows anything about games over here but in games uh, you know the user needs to look at the character in just one glance and he need to, he needs to get the idea that this is the character so mm-hmm. we really use a dynamic pose and really detailed a uh, scene to tell the user about the character and who what character they are playing with in just a small amount of time that's why everything is cramped up over here not cramped up but i would say uh, quite heavily detailed mm. so that's the mm. uh, uh, objective yeah all right okay while doing the digital illustration you took the any reference from somewhere like to showcase the dress folds and the uh, the garment uh, folds and everything no actually i didn't take any reference but it just it what is my uh, memory that you know in inside water how would a cloth like that float around so as you see it's not really perfect because there are more ridges and more extra details Uh, so it's not exactly realistic but kind of semi realistic because i couldn't um, really figure it out and uh, reference uh, yeah yeah so no not any not any references from print printers or anything but uh, i also practice as you see i also practice uh, anatomy so my characters need to be uh, kind of human like so the arm length and the leg length are in proportion uh, so yeah what the um mm, uh, so i took two different models where the arms were folding like this so that was my uh, reference to help how i draw it so uh, also um, uh, drawing arms is kind of difficult i don't have much practice so i took uh, a model with this pose uh, embracing her, herself so yeah that's how the arms came out quite uh, decent yeah okay okay got in that okay thank you thank you yeah Uh, Aditya, the concept was uh, really beautiful, and the artwork was exceptionally well. Thanks a lot Thank for sharing. Yeah.
Uh, judges will move on to the next work. Uh, next is Akarsha Ja. This is Akarsha's work. Let's have a look. Akarsha, can you explain something about your artwork? Akarsha, are you there? Akarsha, are you there? Am I audible to you, Akarsha? He hasn't joined, I guess. Okay, so let's shall we move on to the next artwork? If the judges yeah. don't mind. Yeah. yeah. So the next one is uh, Shreya Arora. Uh, she's again from the first year, Avantika University. And this is her work. That's it. She's there. Yeah, Shreya, you'd like to say something about the artwork? Shreya, can you explain about your artwork? She's not there. No, she isn't there as well. Uh, okay. okay. So, shall we move on to the next? Yeah. Next is uh, Piyush. Yeah. No, no, excuse me. Give me a minute, please. Has he submitted his work? Yeah, there is Piyush. This is Piyush's work. Piyush Pratik. Yeah. Uh, Piyush, uh, you there? say something yes. about your work? Sir, this work, I took inspiration from an artist called Chetan Atri. He used to do wood etching. So from his etching work, I took inspiration. And since I'm from Faridabad, so... My focus went to Chandni Chowk and day-to-day day -day life of in Chandni Chowk. So I took that picture in background and added some abstract. It's a digital artwork or is it? No, sir. I used a handmade sheet and my medium is poster colors. Okay. What is the size of this artwork, Piyush? Sir, it is 35 by 29 centimeter. 35 by 29 centimeter? Yes, sir. Okay. So in, it is in paper or canvas? Sir, handmade sheet. Handmade sheet? Yes, sir. Okay, handmade paper. G. In which color scheme you are tried over here? So in colored scheme in starting, I was quite confused at what should I use. Then I means when I went to Chandni Chowk and I spent there, so I found a lot of yellows and green there. So I took that, uh, I should include that color, black to represent shadow in the frame and yellow and green since yellow light representing sunlight and lot of Indianness to painting. That's why I used these color. And these two color also are quite neutral and pleasing to eye. So I used it. Uh, one thing I would like to say that uh, uh, because you've, uh, you're, you're talking about Chandni Chowk and all, uh, the chaos that is there in Chandni Chowk, I think that you've tried pretty well here. You know, the chaos, uh, the 
uh, you know, the traffic, the people, the shops, everything coming on the road. So that kind of chaos, I think it's uh, coming uh, really nicely. So crowding, crowded. Uh, crowded, crowded area. Yeah, yeah. Thank you, ma'am. <laughs> Rickshaw wall is all very nice, I think. Yeah. Thank you, ma'am. So again, this is also uh, like a sport painting or uh, you click the photograph and... No, sir. I clicked like few photographs. I clicked then uh, the wood etching work. He used mm. to do etching work like this mm. in breaking in fragments. Mm. So mm. I took inspiration from there and then combined all that. And at last I was... Uh, okay, this. means you were, uh, you were just collecting uh, lots of elements and just put it in a frame. Yes, sir. I collected the elements and then combined it for, for this. Okay, okay. So again, this is not in same frame, but you just collected. Yes, sir. You put it in a same in a single frame, right? Yes, sir. Okay, okay. Where are you seeing this color scheme over there at the Chandni Chok? Basically, like, yellow and the blue. Sir, yellow I took because of daylight, and green I found. Uh, a prosperous color and a lot i tried using red too but it was very much like distracting and collecting i i was not focused at different places but it was going to red color only so i skipped the red and then i went with these neutral colors no earlier you said that you seen this color scheme over there at the channi chok yes sir that's why I'm asking that where you found this color scheme over there in any uh, like uh, signboards or the auto rickshaws or something like that. Sir, this was basically uh, my mom went for shopping. She is uh, interested in that stitching uh, thing. So she went to buy gotas and all that. So in inside street, I found that there were lots of yellow lights there. And uh, greeneries, uh, green I found, green and one more colored red I found it. There was that lehenga shops uh, a lot there. So there I found these colors and then I took color from there and different element and placed it. Okay. Yeah. But anyways, you, uh, you did very nice work over here. Yeah, it's pretty well, come on. I love that you are just putting uh, different uh, elements in the same frame and you just uh, created that style in a itching, like uh, itching style, right? It is good. Yes, sir. Thank you, sir. Yeah, yeah. Uh, the color scheme is really attractive and superb, Piyush. Thanks a lot for sharing. Thanks. Uh, we'll move on to the next work, judges. Um, could I interrupt in between? Uh, before we start, could we just uh, zoom out the screen a little bit so we can see the entire painting? It's pretty zoomed, the screen. Yeah, I mean, just control and scroll out. Is that okay? Yeah, yeah, better. Thank you. Okay, no? Yeah. Yeah. So the next work is Kruta. Ruta Surati from first year Avantika University. So this is her work. Is this in canvas? Yes, sir. Okay, what is the size? Uh, 12 inches by 12 inches. 12 inches by 12 inches. And uh, what is the medium of the color? Acrylic paints. Acrylic. So this is uh, even this is also photograph. Uh, you, you just yes, sir. Photograph. I had gone to a bird sanctuary, so I had taken a photograph there and I tried to rec uh, make the scene from that photograph. So what we can say this is in abstract or realistic? Realistic, sir. I have attached the real photo as well. Hmm. Uh, what was the, what is the timing? Uh, morning 6.30 to 7 o'clock, so between okay. that. Okay, okay. Can I see the original image? Yes, so it's so uh, there. The last image is the original image, so. Okay. Let's click that.
Yeah, it's good and it's looking nice and then you did it very pretty well over there. Good attempt. Thank you, sir. Uh, Sayukta, so, ma'am, would you like to say something about painting? I was just looking at the painting very, you know, uh, with a lot of focus. I think she's done a very, very good job. Very, very nice. I mean, reflection and everything, how the yellow uh, at the horizon is fading out. Everything. I mean, if you compare the photograph uh, in her phone and what she has made, I think I like her painting more, Kruta. Very, Thank you, ma'am. Very nice. I was just, uh, when I was looking at it, if we wouldn't have said anything, so I would just keep looking at the painting. Very nice, very fine work you've done, like with trees and uh, shadows and everything. Reflection, I'm sorry, reflection. Uh, so, very good. Which Thank place you, is this? Uh, this is, I went to Thal Bot Sanctuary. Okay. It's near Gujarat. Yeah, it's in Gujarat. Huh. Okay, okay. Very nice. Thank you, ma'am. Yeah, so, the blending of the colors is really beautiful. Great work, Krita. Thanks a lot for sharing. Thank you. Yeah. So, judges will move on to the next work. Uh, next is uh, Siddhi Mahale from first year, Avantika University. Good afternoon, sir. Yeah. Um, so this is an A4 uh, portrait painting. It includes watercolor uh, on her body and poster colors in the background to give a solid figure. So um, I took this from Pinterest. It was actually a model's uh, photo shoot. What uh, grabbed my attention was she was um, soaked in self-confidence uh, and it was reflecting through her eyes and I really wanted to portray it out. Um, but also I wanted to give it a touch of um, vibrant and a glossy texture on her lips and her face. So I also added some whites there. Um, and for the background, I wanted it uh, to focus on the model. So I used blue and a little bit of uh, darker shade near her face so that uh, the main uh, primer focus goes on the model. Uh, Siddhi, could you please switch on your camera? Yes. What is the reason behind using the watercolor and the poster color same time? A uh, poster color because it gives a solid texture. Um, it's only used in the background, and watercolor blends really well for me, and I'm used to it, so I use it on her body. Okay. Who is the model of this? She's not a very famous model. Um, I actually got it from Pinterest. There was no name. It was anonymous. Okay, what is the cre your creativity over here? Uh, it's all about the colors, sir, and um, the proportions. This was my first painting that looked decent. So what you are about... just copying over here instead of using your own creativity? Uh, it was actually uh, for my portfolio. So uh, it was an image there. It was her photo shoot and I made it into a watercolor painting. It's all okay. about the proportions and the colors blending. Okay. Hold on, hold on. Chiranjay, sir, are you? So are you trying to say something uh, with this painting or just use, uh, you just like it and just draw it, right? Yeah, so like it was a very self-confident and a radiant mm -hmm. image. Mm -hmm. uh, that was what I loved about her and I was uh, really intrigued ki, uh, how can someone capture it so well so like mm -hmm. I wanted to try it out mm -hmm. the, the photo actually stood out pretty well out of all those models so I chose it mm -hmm. okay okay, okay alright all right. okay so the portrayal of this model is really beautiful thanks a lot Siddhi for sharing thank you thanks so much uh, judges will move on to the next work. Uh, next is uh, Sapna. She there? Uh, she texted me that she has a net connection. Uh, <laughs> okay. So she left. Okay, so shall we? Uh, move actually, uh, I guess uh, she actually WhatsApp me her artwork, uh, her PDF. 
uh, when you started the meeting uh, because you forgot to submit yesterday. Okay, so shall we include it? Because it is after the registration. So. Uh, judges. No, no. no we can include yeah. it. It's okay. Okay. So, uh, Rakshita, would you like to share the screen? Will you share the screen? Yeah, I, I'll uh, share with you. Pardon? I, I didn't hear you. I'm sharing with you the PDF. Okay, so okay. So, you can share. Sure. I think till then you can uh, show other people's work. Yeah, no. sure, yeah. sure. Okay, so the next one is uh, Dipakshi's work. Dipshika, sorry, I'm really sorry. Uh, that's uh, Dipshika Sangupta from first year, Avantika yes. University. Dipshika, right? Uh, yeah, yes, Dipshika. So in my work, I've taken the inspiration from the two books that I have recently read. One is The Picture of Dorian Gray by Oscar Wilde. And another one is from... Uh, the Killing the Commentator by Haruki Murakami. Uh, so both of them have the concept of human uh, emotions and evolution with a psychological aspect to it. So in my picture, I would try to depict that with an abstract emotion art in the face. Like since we are human beings, we have a lot of hum uh, emotions in ourselves. We have a lot of faces that we want to hide and we, lot we grow up every... In each day, each second, and each time. And we don't know what are the minute changes that we face. So similarly, the color scheme that I've used are mostly in the highlighting the reds and the yellows, the warm color scheme, thus highlighting how anger issues or the ego problems that are be ruling the world while keeping the calmness and the silence and the peace that we lack in the current times. I have also the greenery that we are lacking in the today's world and the chaos that we are facing are highlighted in the background with the black and white stripes and the forest in the downward direction. And uh, I have used a uh, favor castle for a uh, pencil color favor castle for the color medium. Thank you. Uh, the size of your this artwork, Dishika? Uh, I have done it into the page of 30, seven uh, by 29, but the initial size is in the size of A4 size page, like the total art. Uh, you are doing on paper? Yes, or... I did. I have a soft copy, like right now, if you want to see like here. Okay. It's hard copy. Oh uh, yeah, sorry. <clears throat> so uh, I just wanted to know why you are keeping like a negative space more on uh, that uh, in the paper. Yeah, uh, so that see. we, yeah, then, so that we can focus on the artwork much more. Like, if there is white, the color can be uh, come out much more. Like, we have to center focus it and highlight the work. So I tried to depict that. Okay. All right. All right. So uh, the the below on the body, uh, it is uh, the. What did you say? What color you are using? I have used what a medium? castle pencil color. Pencil color on the top, on the head? All of it is done by pencil color only. Okay, okay. All right. You took the reference from somewhere or the it's your imaginary sketch? Uh, so imaginary, but I read the two books which gave me the idea. Yeah, that is I got it on uh, uh, this thing. But it's your totally imaginary. Uh, yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's abstract art. Abstract art. Okay. So what? Uh, this is completely abstract or just semi-abstract or what? If you if you count in a hundred, uh... it will be abstract art since uh, human emotions and the psychological aspect is completely different and varies from person to person. So we can't actually pinpoint one aspect to one human being. So it's abstract art. No, I'm just person-wise. I'm just asking. <clears throat> like how many like like uh, i can see some painting like a semi abstract in semi abstract i can visual i can see ki some parts are realistic and some parts are parts are not realistic and some uh, in some painting it's completely abstract you can uh, you just visualize yourself in your own okay. language right in that way i'm asking so, so i would say like 60% of it is abstract since i've used okay. the human figure and the forest so it's uh, sixty percent abstract and forty percent is uh, realistic. Right, right. Okay. All right. All right. Good. Thank you, sir. Uh, 
So the work was really intriguing. Thanks a lot for sharing, Deepshita. Welcome. So let's move on to the next work. Uh, next is uh, Pranav from first year. Yeah. This is uh, Pranav's work. He's from first year, Avantika University. Hi, Pranav. Uh, would you like to say something about your artwork? Uh, yes. Uh, it's a statue in reality. It's a it has no name. It's just called the uh, head of Buddha. This was uh, this is a statue found in Afghanistan. So it was there, and uh, it, the statue is uh, not as colorful. I try to add the yellow color and the blue color in it, so to give it a bit more what is it action. The thing is that ki, uh, wherever if there's a yellow light, the blue is the usually the color of the shadow. Mm -hmm. So I tried to integrate that, and this was me trying to learn watercolor. And this was my third drawing. I was doing sets of drawing. So mm -hmm. first I learned different, different things. And this was my third drawing in the set. And just uh, wanted to learn values and try to do a bit more detailing than before. Hmm. What medium uh, are you using? Watercolor, sir. Watercolor. On the paper? Yes, sir. It's uh, A4 size. The paper is much bigger. But what the painting paper? is an A4 size. If you scroll what? down, you can see the size of it. What, what paper you are using? Uh, so it's watercolor paper. No, there is a lot of watercolor paper. What is the GSM of this paper? Oh, I think it's uh, nearly 270, something. No, I'm, uh, no maybe more. I'm, I don't know the GSM, to be honest. No, I'm, I'm, I'm not asking about the GSM. I'm asking uh, the what other paper, what kind of paper? There are lots of paper. So, uh, it's watercolor. That's all I know, sir. Okay. Is it a handmade paper? No, it's not a handmade paper. Okay, there are lots of paper actually. <laughs> I do not know. Okay, okay, okay. No problem. Yes, yeah, so, uh, if you go down, you'll see those three drawings okay. also, which I was trying to learn from. One was like learning values. One mm -hmm. was like a bit more shading. Yeah. So that's the left side you see is the actual painting and it's the size of an A4. Okay. All right, all right. Uh, Sayyukta ma'am, would you like to say something? You took the, any reference Beautiful for the, uh, the, uh, Can I see the reference yeah. image? Yeah, you can just like scroll down. You can see me working on it. That's the, the, okay. yeah. the reference image was, it didn't have that many colors. Plus, I okay, tried to... Are... Okay, what is the, your creativity over here? So I try to uh, show the piece of Buddha, like just silent and smoothing. I, when you add like watercolor to the edges of the painting, it looks like it's shining. I try to do that. All right. All right. But it's come out very well and nicely. You did it very nicely. Good Thank job. You. Yeah. Thank you, sir. Very nice. I like the color combination and how uh, the face um, that depicts peace has uh, uh, on one side it has the uh, light blue shade and uh, the uh, enlightened uh, shade that's the yellow or the light or the white light so i think that is yes, really, really nice yeah thank you ma'am yeah i try to share the work also no it was good Thanks a lot for sharing, Pranav. Great work. Thanks, man. Thanks. Yeah. So we'll move on. Uh, yeah. Next is uh, Surbhi Pandey uh, from Avantika University. First year. This is her work. Good afternoon, Surbhi. sir. Hmm. Uh, so, uh, this is acrylic painting, uh, which is abstract. Uh, I was just exploring uh, the brushes, the strokes of brushes here, and I've used warm colors. And later on, after uh, uh, viewing uh, this painting, I came out with a description for it, which I have given uh, in the next slide. Can you please? scroll down. Sure, sure. 
so uh, like we uh, we all are the reflection of the people surrounded by us uh, because we are somewhat influenced by them so uh, in this painting uh, there's a reflection uh, shown so i tried to means depict it is your own uh, is is your own artwork or you took any reference from somewhere uh, no sir it's my own because i was exploring the uh, strokes brush strokes so it came out this like this okay you said the warm colors these all are the warm colors or there yeah. are some cool colors also uh no sir they are warm colors are you sure yeah okay okay you must be uh, like uh, the violet color you must be asking for that yeah okay sir sorry that's the cool color yeah you said that uh, you are uh, i used the warm skin Warm color skin, but I can see the violet color is more. Right? Yeah, yeah. You're yeah. showing the water with the violet color and the sky also. Right? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Sir, be. Uh, I just wanted to know why you are making frame inside the frame. Uh. There is a white frame inside the frame. So is there any meaning? No, sir. You want to do the red way only, or it depend. no it's like means getting more focus over so that's why that outline okay it looks like some uh, like a, a pasting kind of thing on the canvas that's why i am just asking and uh, is this uh, really abstract completely abstract yes sir because i can see uh, cloud here directly and it's a reflection and there's a grass Kind of thing and grass also reflected on water. You know, directly I can see, I can visualize it. But abstract should not be. You can directly not see it. Directly, you uh, abstract is something like you could visualize. Karna padega, right? Yes, it's abstract because they are just strokes of brushes. I didn't uh, thought of like making a sky or any reflection. It was just in the flow. So. Okay, okay, all right. And so, this is just random, uh, not related with this paint. Ah, uh, yeah, is clearly related. No, yeah, it's just random uh, feedback. Don't write the bigger. Ah, uh, write your name. It's written too big. Right? Yeah. 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 Uh, write somewhere so that you can see, or if if somebody uh, see it nicely, then you can see your name. It, yeah. The, your name should not be focused on painting. Yes, sir. Otherwise, you are uh, giving air. Your name on the painting. It depends something like this, है ना? So much I like देना. Yes. Your name should not be focused on painting directly. What does mean the abstract, Surubi? Ah, uh, sorry, sir. What does mean the abstract? Ah, uh, abstract uh, means ah uh, where ah uh, the painter's emotions are all showed. uh by their own form of painting or anything okay okay thank you all right thank you sir okay should be thanks a lot subhi for sharing uh, great work thank you okay, so uh, let's move on give me a minute i'll just share the pdf Who is left, Siddhi? No. Uh, no, no, no. Uh, Sapna, right? Yeah. Ah. I'll share her work. Yeah. yeah. This is her work. Sapna, are you there? I guess she is not there. She leave. Sure. 
Uh, Madhulika, can you check if she is there in the meeting? Sapna? Yeah. No. She is not. Is she there in the waiting room? No, I think she is uh, she's disconnected. Okay, so I guess that's it, judges. Uh, this was all. Yes. All the work she has is, been covered. And you know, if she is not there, then there is no point of to yeah. evaluate this hard work. You can still have a look. <laughs> yeah, we already gone through, but no, I, I think you can evaluate. It's okay. Yeah, yeah. It's so, okay. So, okay. I think it's a pencil sketch if I'm not wrong. Yeah, it's okay. Okay, we will do that. She has 